I have a pretty simple philosophy when it comes to music, I guess, and that is uh, seeking beauty. Um, trying to do my very best, uh, whether it be conducting or writing music, to do whatever I can to bring a bit, bit of beauty to this world that has so much ugliness in it uh, and so many sounds that are not pleasant to the ear or pleasant to the heart. So I guess whether it be conducting or whether it be writing, um, my efforts go towards or striving, I guess you'd say, for beauty. I've long been a, a fan of the poetry of Sarah Teasdale and for, for several reasons, practically all of her poetry just longs to be set to music. And that's, that's a big item because so often we find texts that we like, but uh, it's better off just being left as, a, as poetry without being set. But hers, in my estimation, so much of it uh, calls for music and uh, uh, for both poetic reasons and practical reasons, I guess I'd say, because I love what she conveys and in, in feeling in every, practically every bit of poetry I've read of hers, but also it's a, in a very practical way, so many of them both in length and the choice of words, the words are very singable. I mean, they sound good when, when they're sung. You don't have words like chrysanthemum or something <laughs> that you have to try to set, but good words that are are singable. This happens to be one of the last uh, bits of poetry she wrote. She, uh, this was written in 1933, and she died in 1933. And... Um, there was just, on my part, a little bit of nostalgia about that fact. When you listen to this music, I think the only bit of advice or suggestion I would make is to just relax and don't try to figure anything else. Just let the music speak for itself and enjoy the sounds, and the sounds will carry you someplace.